how to read and write decimals, and we're also going to learn about the expanded form of decimals. So let's start. First, we'll learn how to read decimals. We know about this decimal number, which is called, which is 148.154. So the whole number part in this is 148. The decimal point, of course, is the decimal point. And then 154 is a decimal part. Now, 1, we can just take, which is equal to 100. And then 4 in the whole number will be 4 tenths, or which is also equal to 40. And then 8 in the whole number will be 8 ones or 8. Then this comprises of the whole number part. The decimal point, when you get the decimal point, the 1 in the decimal part is equal to 1 by 10, which is equal to 1 by 10, or 0 0.1. The 5 in the decimal part is equal to 1 500, which is equal to 5 by 100, or 0 0.05. The 4 in the decimal part, which is our final number, will be equal to 4000, which is equal to 4 by 1000, which is also equal to 0 0.004. And now, this comprises of the decimal parts. And this, all of these comprises of the number 148.154. Now, this one how to write decimal. We'll just take the same example as again, 148.154. We already know what the whole number is, what is the decimal point, and what is the decimal part. So, the period of 8 is called the 1's period and the period of 5 is the 1000's period. 8 is in the whole number part which is 1's period and 5 is in the decimal part which is equal to 1000's period. And then the expanded form is 100 plus 40 plus 8 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.004 we'll read it as 148.154 now let's find the face value of 8 and 5 so the face value of 8 in the whole number part is equal to 8 as you already know and the face value of 5 is also equal to 5 now let's go to the number place value of both all the numbers if the both numbers which are repeated twice and the numbers which are also repeated once here we can see that 1 is repeated twice in the 1 in the whole number part and 1 in the decimal part. And then 4 is also repeated twice, 1 in the whole number part and 1 in the decimal part. So, what's the place value of 1? Now, first we will work from whole number to decimal. So, 1 into 100 is equal to 100. So, the place value of 1 in the decimal whole number part is 100 and the place value of 1 in the, the decimal part is equal to 1 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.1 the, now let's find the place value of 4 the place value of 4 is 4 into 10 which is equal to 40 four, so 40 is the place value of 4 in the whole number part and the place value of 4 in the decimal part is equal to 4 into 1 by 1000 which is equal to 0 0.004 now let's find the place value of 8. The place value of 8 is 8 into 10, which is equal to 8. Sorry, it will be 8 into 1, which is equal to 8. And then the place value of 5 is equal to 5 into 1 by 100, which is equal to 0 0.05. Now let's find the expanded form of decimal. Now we'll take the same example as always, 148.154. We know what the whole number is, the decimal point and the decimal part. So 1, 100 is equal to 100, 4 is equal to 4 tenths, which is equal to 40, 8 is equal to 8, 1 which is equal to 8. Then this is the, for the whole number part, so we have the decimal point which is equal to decimal point. 1 is the, the decimal part is equal to 1 by 10, which is equal to 1 by 10. Or 0 0.1, 5 is equal to 500, which is equal to 5 by 100, which is equal to 
0 0.2 right and then 4 is equal to 4000 which is equal to 4 by 1000 which is equal to 0 0.004 and this is the decimal part and this is the expanded form of decimal the whole number 148.154 this is the continuation now we already know all this so we know that 148.154 is our example so it is equal to 100 plus 4 tenths plus 8 ones plus 1 tenths plus 500 plus 4 thousandths which is equal to 100 plus 40 plus 8 plus 1 by 10 plus 5 by 100 100 plus 4 by 1000 which is equal to 100 plus 40 plus 8 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.004 and now let's take another example 103.19 which is equal to 100 plus 3 1 plus 1 tenths plus 900 so it is equal to 1 by 100 plus 3 plus 1 by 10 plus 2 by 10 plus 9 by 100 which is equal to 100 plus 3 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.009 now this is our expanded form of decimals the decimal number can be expanded in three ways First is the place value form, for example, 2, 8.1816 is equal to 2 10 ones, 8 tenths, 100, and 6 thousandths. So you can also expand it in a decimal form, which is 2 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.006, or the fraction form, which is equal to 2 plus 8 by 10 plus 1 by 100 plus 6 by 1000. Let's take the example for 9.754. So place value form will be 9 ones plus 7 tenths plus 500 plus 4000. Our decimal form will be 9 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.004. And the fraction form will be 9 plus 7 by 10 plus 5 by 100 plus 4 by 1000. So what did we learn today? We learned how to read decimals, how to write decimals, the expand form of decimals, and the standard form of decimals. So, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. Bye and have a nice day.